guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to a really fun tier ranking. This is my tier ranking for movie Santa Clauses. Which sounds like a cool idea, right? Santa Claus. Who doesn't know about the jolly old Saint Nick himself? And there are so many different portrayals of Santa Claus in a bunch of different movies. And I thought it'd be a fun list to do. Uh, a tier ranking of all the Santa Clauses I've seen in cinema. I think there's a few more Santa Clauses I'm probably missing, but maybe I just haven't seen the movies and stuff. And some of these people are not technically Santa, but they portray Santa in a certain way in their film, so I'm going to count them. And how I'm ranking this list is how good the characters are, how interesting the characters are. And how good of a Santa they are. Are they jolly? Are they full Christmas spirit? And are just like are they just enjoyable and fun to watch? So I'm rating them as characters, but also how accurate they are of Santa Claus and how good of a Santa Claus they are. So there's two things to look for in this list. So we're starting off with an amazing one right here, and that is Santa Claus from Rise of the Guardians, played by Alec Baldwin. Sadly, it's Alec Baldwin, but that's an S tier. He's one of my all-time favorite Santa Clauses. This is the most badass Santa, and there's a few badass Santas on here, but this is the most badass. He's part of the Guardians, who is this group, like Jack Frost, Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy. They're like superheroes. They, you know, defeat the darkness, like the Boogeyman and stuff, but he's also a great Santa Claus. He's a caring Santa Claus. He's uh, he cares about the, uh, protecting children. Like this is a Santa Claus that does the both. He's jolly old Saint Nick, but also a superhero. Like you get the best of the best right here. One of the best Santa Clauses, and I love his like Russian accent. Big eyes. All right, we got Billy Bob Thornton. We got bad Santa. He's a fun character. He's an awful Santa, though. <laughs> He's, he, that's the point. He's a piece of shit. Like, I'll put him at C, mostly for Bad Santa, too, because I hate him so much, Bad Santa, too. But he learns in the first Bad Santa, but that's completely undone in Bad Santa, too. Bill Thor does a good job, though, and he's a fun character, but not a great Santa. We got Kurt Russell Santa from Christmas Chronicles. I'll go B. I think he's a pretty good Santa, as we saw in the two Christmas Chronicles movies. He's definitely not, like, the most jolliest. He's got, like, a, he's a Santa with an attitude, but he's still a fun Santa. Then we got Santa from the Polar Express. A Santa we don't see a lot. He kind of looks like the Coca-Cola Santa. <laughs> I'll, I'll go put him at C. I think he's just okay. Because we just don't get enough of him. Because it's a lot about the belief structure of Santa. It's about the kids and the training conductor. Then we got uh, Chris Kringle from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And I think he is a phenomenal Santa. A way better Santa than Rudolph. If we're just talking about Rankin Bass. Here's the Rudolph one. I'm not a fan of his Santa. Just not. I think he's a bit unlikable. And I think he really uses his reindeer, and there's some questionable things he does in the North Pole. <laughs> but Chris Kringle from Santa Claus Come to Town, it's a development of the character of becoming Santa, and it's great. Alright, yes, let's do all the Arthur Christmas characters, because technically they're all Santa bloodlines, so they're all technically Santa Claus. I'm going to do the worst one, Jeb Broadman. He's actually Santa twice in another movie, but I... I think he's a god-awful Santa. I think he's a shitty Santa. He's lazy. He's forgetful. And he basically just lets his sons do all the work and the elves do all the work. He is an awful Santa Claus. Grand Santa. Grand Santa is a fun character. I love him as a character. As a character, he's like teetering on A. But he's also not the best Santa. Like... He is a little selfish, and he does want to talk about the old school way. It's the better way, but at the same time, the old school way was a bit of a better way. So, I'll put him at C. Then we'll get Steve. Steve is also a C, because he's a very efficient Santa, and he can deliver the gifts. And he's very good at his job, but he's not the most likable character. See, I think he's a 
better Santa than Grand Santa, but Grand Santa's a better character, so I'll put him both at C. Arthur is S. Arthur is probably one of the most likable characters in a Christmas film. Arthur genuinely cares about kids because he works in the letter department and he answers all their letters and he risks everything on this one night to deliver one gift to one girl just so she knows that Santa cares. He is he's the one that changes the North Pole in the end. He makes the North Pole a better place because he's the true Santa Claus. Then we got Santa Claus from Miracle on 34th Street, the original, who's great. And I actually think Richard Attenborough is just as good because they're both different but both phenomenal santa clauses jk simmons and claus is another great jolly old saint nick man like this is like more of the origin of santa claus and more of an old school tale but he does a great job all right now we're getting to the more badass ones we have father christmas from narnia i'm gonna put him at b he's only in one scene but it's a great scene he gives the four children uh their weapons and it's great and he's just a great character he's just there to guide and give their weapons there's not really much to him but that's all you really need for father christmas in a narnia movie <laughs> then we got santa from harold and kumar who is probably one of the worst santas he's very irresponsible he's drunk he's stupid and yeah, he was terrible Santa. <laughs> and then was the Santa from Ernest Save Santa. He's not bad. Actually. I'll put him in B. I think he's pretty good. And this is from The Santa Claus, the 80s film, who was also a pretty decent Santa. Then there's Ed Asner from Elf. He's also, he, 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 he doesn't get a lot of development because it's a lot about Buddy. But he seems like a, he, a very understanding Santa. Then we got the name of Focus. We got Jack as Santa. Okay. Jack is a character. I love Jack. He's one of my favorites. He's almost like an S because I love his character and his design and his voice. You know what? Like, in his own way, he's a good Santa because he's very jolly. He loves what he's doing. And even though he's kind of destroying Christmas, he, in a way, is thinking he's not so i'm gonna go a i think he's better than the, the i think sandy claus from Never for christmas is not that great like he kind of shows his like ability in the end but he's kind of a grumpy miserable santa so i'll put him in d noel noel is the only female santa we'll have on here and she can't be santa because she's a girl which is a little bit sad and everything but is she a good Santa? She's an okay Santa. She does some things right, but some things she does her own way. I just don't think it traditionally works, but I'll put her in here. She's okay. The mole Santa from A Christmas Story. Uh, he's funny, but he's not a great Santa. And we've got Fat Man from Fat Man, Mel Gibson. Here we are, one more violent and brutal Santa. And he's okay. All right, we go. Uh, Nicholas, St. Nicholas from Fred Claus is A. I think Paul Giamatti plays the, San the Santa so well. I love that he's a stressful Santa, a Santa that needs to do his job or he'll get shut down and he has to deal with his asshole brother. It's a Santa that we don't see very often, which is why I really like and I love Paul Giamatti's portrayal of the Santa Claus. I don't think the movie is very good, but Paul Giamatti is the best part of it. We got the Grinch. The Grinch is a fun character, man. He's one of my favorites. He's like A.S. character, but of course he's a bad Santa. He's intentionally a bad Santa. He's destroyed Christmas, but he does give it back in the end. So I'll put him in B. Scott Calvin. Yes. He's one of my favorite Santa Clauses. He's a selfish father that turns a new leaf and becomes Santa Claus. And I think he's one of the best Santa Clauses. I love him as Santa Claus. He's like, he is the Santa Claus. Every time I picture a movie Santa, I picture Tim Allen as the Santa Claus. So, yeah. Silent Night, Deadly Night, the serial killer Santa Claus. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> 
and even Jim Broadman's, I'm not a fan of. And Dear Santa, I'm not a fan of that one either. Here we go, David Harbour, Santa Claus from Violent Night. Love him. He's great. He's great. He's a badass. I love that he is not maybe jolly. I think he may be a little too rugged. But he does turn a new leaf, and he does genuinely care. He's basically a Viking Santa, which is pretty badass. <laughs> All right. I gotta go. Scott Calvin is the Santa to me. The pivotal movie Santa is Scott Calvin. Then Santa Claus, Rise of the Guardians, then Arthur. I think these are the three best Santa Clauses. Just the iconicness and the look, the badassness, and the kindness. Just the three of them form the perfect Santa. So there you go. These are all great Santas. I'm putting Paul Giamatti on the top, though. Then Chris Kringle. And then both the Miracle on 34th Streets, the Jack Skellington, the David Harbour, and then the Claws. All right, for the B tier, I'm going to go Grinch, because I still love Grinch. Then Kurt Russell, then Ernest one, then Ed Asner, Father Christmas, Santa Claus. I'll put Noel on the top of S. I see next with Grand Santa and Steve, then Polar Express, Fat Man, then Billy Bob Thornton. I'll keep those ones there. Um, Tango Mall Santa. I think Helda Cooper Santa's the worst Santa I've seen, so. There we go. Um, well, yeah, okay, there we go. So there, that was my tier ranking of the movie Santa Clauses. Let me know in the comment section below who is the best movie Santa in your opinion. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. Enjoy the dark side.